Hello Internet and welcome to my very first ARK Survival Evolved Dino Dossier coverage video. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Um, my action, Morales action has been screwing up quite a lot lately. I messaged them, they gave me an answer, I'm going to try to fix it tonight. But for right now I'm going to be uploading short videos like this and the last video I did which was covering uh, the Koro Koro leaks. Um, so... I'm gonna start doing these as they come out, and I will also, I might start doing videos uh, watching the uh, reveal trailers or whatever, the, uh, I forgot what they're called, they're not called reveal trailers, but the uh, spotlights, spotlights, the arc spotlights. Uh, but anyway, this is this week's, uh, the, today is Tuesday, so, and it came out last night, so the Monday of April 11th, uh, it's dossier. Uh, the Moss Chops, or the Moz Chops, or I'm honestly not really sure how you're supposed to say that, but the common name is the Moss Chops. The species is Moss Chops, uh, Sion Mutante. The time is the Mid-Permian. The diet is an omnivore, which is good, that you means anything, you can shove meat down its throat, you can shove plants down its throat, it doesn't care. And its temperament is cowardly. I think that might be one of the few first cowardly ones i don't know about the like parasaur i know that gets scared really easily uh so does the um mesopithecus but whatever uh let's start reading so first off we have this here i'm on the uh, survive the ark uh website by the way uh but first off we have this picture i think this is someone uh this is obviously a carcass but it is eating the carcass I think that's about it. That's really all the analysis you can do on that picture. Uh, but let's start reading. Uh, here's the Moz Chops in the wild. Moz Chops Sio Mutante in the wild is a lethargic, cowardly creature that primarily lives in the forest of the island, primarily making its home among the great redwoods of the west. There, another confirmation of the redwood biome coming soon. I think that's going to be really cool. I've been hoping for a jungle, something with tall trees, you know, something to... Diversify the forest of the island, but also to give a sense of scale to some of the dinos, because they either are below the trees, tiny, like, I don't know, a raptor or a parasaur, or they're towering above it, like a bronto, and there's nothing really to scale down the, the brontos and stuff. I mean, once we have the titanosaur, that'll scale them down quite a bit, but the redwood biome should help keep everything in perspective. And plus, I think it just look awesome. I love redwood, redwoods in general. Uh, so, where was I? It survives by being extremely flexible in its eating habits and completely adverse to fighting. Completely adverse to fighting, which means that it would just avoid any fighting. It never starves, since it can eat just about anything. Moz... Moz... It looks like crops. Moz chops runs at the slightest provocation but it's still often preyed upon. I mean, look at it. Who would not want to eat that? It's just a hunk of muscle. Mm. Domesticated. What makes Moz Chops particularly interesting is what it can be trained to do with its eating habits. Since it's an omnivore, it can eat everything. With a versatile palate and tough teeth, Moz Chops can be tamed for a unique utility. Over time, it can be taught exactly which things to gnaw increasing the likelihood of harvesting that exact resource, which is master desires. For example, teach it to eat... To, oh, teach it to prioritize chewing prime meat, and prime meat will be easier to harvest from the flesh it consumes. Likewise, for rare plants, material, and s materials, and so forth. Now, I think this is an incredibly unique and interesting idea. Not necessarily something that... I will use constantly or that many people will use constantly unless you absolutely need food but something that's interesting nonetheless so what it's saying is there's a force feed button in the inventory of a dinosaur you can use it to heal your dinos to get their hunger up all that what I'm thinking is that say you have a stack of prime meat or a couple pieces of prime meat not I know they're in the stack but you have prime meat in your inventory you click on it and you force feed it. And the moss chops eat it, and just like normal, it would probably be heal it. But it learns to like the prime meat more. So 
as you're attacking the carcass of, say, a uh, Paraceratherium or a Bronto or something, it learns from y being fed prime meat to collect more of it, so it's an easier way to collect it. Now, I don't think you'd want to do this with normal flesh or something like Amar berries, but you could do narco berries and go through bushes and collect a ton of narco berries, which that's what I might use it for. You could just for prime meat, prime fish when the whale thing comes out, the Lystrosaurus or whatever it is. Um, you could use it for... I'm not sure if you can collect the like the rock carrot seeds, stuff like that. Uh, the plant species X, the rare mushrooms, all of those. I think that's going to be really convenient. However, there's a downside to this. Let's just read the rest. Just don't expect moss chops to protect you, though. Even after taming, it will quickly flee when enemies are nearby. Regardless of being fed well, increasing its strength, or how much affection you shower on it, Moz Chops retains its inherent cowardly nature. That's a little bit disappointing. Uh, if an angry dino comes at it, it's just going to run away. It's, that's I don't know how you're supposed to keep track of them if they run away, but I guess we're going to see. So we have its little uh, perks down here. You cannot ride it. You can tame it. I didn't really think you'd be able to ride it. I mean, that... Huh. It looks about rideable size, but whatever. I mean, there's plenty of mounts. And that would just be another saddle and gun to learn. So, and its best attribute is recycling. Which, I don't know why they use the recycling thing, but I mean, it makes sort of sense. They could have just put, like, a meat and a fish and stuff. But I think this is going to be... An interesting addition, not popular one, at least after the few weeks that it comes out. But I think it will be fun to have, just in case you, you need it. Because having something for everything is what all the different dino species is for. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you want me to keep doing these dossier videos. And uh, comment what if you want me to do a past one. I think I might do a couple of those, just to cover and show you guys i won't be doing these too often i'll do them when they come out and i might do one if it takes two weeks for one to come out i might do a monday one for an older one that i think is interesting and i'd like to cover but anyway thank you for watching uh subscribe for other arc news pokemon news gaming videos opinions rants theories and more i will see you guys in another video peace